What's going on guys? Welcome to a new series called Youth Heroes where I'll be taking you through my best options in each position for younger players that you could use as either a backup or even for a first choice option in the lower leagues. Um, and I'll just be taking you through each position, finding you some good young talent that maybe or maybe not are quite cheap. So first episode will be on goalkeepers as you can see. Uh, we'll just go into the short list here. So we'll go from cheapest up to the most expensive. Uh, the first keeper we've got on the list is Mile Savala. Uh, he currently plays for Andlex, 16 years old, Belgian. And this guy looks like he's got a lot of potential in him. Uh, the key stats for any goalkeeper, are, in my personal opinion, are handling one-on-ones, reflexes and kicking. Um so as you can see, for a 16-year-old, he's got very good base stats. You've got handling of 14, natural fitness of 16, reflexes 14. And obviously his mentals will pick up as he gets a bit older. With any young player, you're looking at a couple of years before these mentals really kick in. Determination of 15 is great. That means he'll probably reach his full potential. Um, even though you can't sign him at the start of your save, as he currently has no interest in joining, obviously being Manchester United, um, you're probably going to have the pick of the players, especially if they're playing for Anderlecht. So if he doesn't want to join now, then this could be a signing for the second season. But yeah, that's Miles Savala. Uh, probably more for the second season, but does have a very good... He can reach up to five stars, and his current ability is not too bad. Uh, especially if you're not playing as a top four so club, he can definitely come in and do a job for you. Timon Velon, rather. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering the names here. Uh, he's 20 years old, German. Uh, actually, he has a couple of under 21 caps. Uh, plays for Schalke in the Bundesliga. He's only in the second team, so you'll probably be able to pick him up if you are a Premier League club, maybe even if you're a Champions Championship club, if you give him uh, key player status, if you promise him first team football, etc. But Again, even though the scout says not a worthwhile signing, I actually very much disagree. I think he's got really good base stats for a 20-year-old keeper. Um, highlighting, obviously, the reflexes are 14, kicking 14, handling's maybe the only one that you would desire to be a little bit higher. But obviously, with a personal development programme on the training, you could uh, boost them quite quickly as long as your goalkeeping coaches are good enough. Uh, physical's decent. Uh, mentals, as you can see with what I was saying about the last player, um, you can see that even at 20 years old, the advancement in mental stats is pretty mad. Um, he's got much better base mentals, and obviously he is only 20 years old, so he's will grow. Uh, 1.9k per week, which I think is ridiculously cheap. Uh, 925k, so yeah, you could probably um, secure this signing for quite cheap. Again, maybe not for the first season or at least till January as he doesn't have any interest in joining on a permanent basis but you could maybe perhaps get him on a loan if you're kind of Sunderland or Middlesbrough and you're looking for a backup option. Um, so yeah, there's Tim and one and Uh The next one we've got on the list is Andre Moreira from Atletico Madrid. Now, I believe he actually had a buyout clause. Yeah, minimum free release clause of £6 million for this guy. Uh, he's Portuguese, plays for Atletico Madrid but the B team. Um, again, good handling, good one-on-ones, good reflexes. Uh, mentals are a bit low for his age. Uh, good, fit, decent physicals. Obviously, not really needed on a goalkeeper. Um, wage pretty cheap again at one point seven k per week. His value is nine hundred seventy five k. Um, it does say that the estimated cost would be six million. Although his current Ability is two star, potential ability of over four and a half if he's trained right. Um, so, this would be a very good sign in if you do have a lot of money and you're looking to invest in youth. Uh, not much on the wage budget either. Um, you could also loan him in if you're just looking for a backup option, but solid stats all around ready for this one. Next one is Ruben Blanco of Celta Vigo. A Spanish 20 years old, He's a lot of under 21 caps, but never really broke into the first national team. Again, really good wage of 8.25k per week. Um, probably one of the least favoured options for me in this list, but still solid keeper, good reflexes, good throwing, good kicking. Uh, his command and aerial reach are 
you know, pretty good. Not that I would say that they're the most important stats. Pretty good mentals. Uh, physicals, again, nah, kind of okay. Um, my scout actually does say that he's uh, not a worthwhile signing, but again, this series is tailored to rotation players up to your first choice. So he's very well suited to Sky but Championship Football. So if you were doing a championship save, he could definitely come in and do a job for you. Uh, you got to take these scout ratings with a pinch of salt because I am Manchester United, so we do have David Haya, Romero behind him. So there's a good wealth of goalkeepers to choose from. But yeah, there's a lot. Um, I'm trying to keep these transfers as cheap as possible for you, so you can keep them down on the wage budget. Uh, the next one, Alban Lafont, probably going to cost you quite a bit, but he is one of the best keepers in this game and does go on to be one of the leading keepers in FM17. Uh, he's French, 17 years old, so there's a lot of time for growth here. Uh, 2.7 million. Uh, there's no estimated cost, which this is never a good sign on FM. Uh, but the wages are good. Um, unlikely he's want to sell the player, so he could cost you upwards of 20. I mean, if we go ahead and submit a bid now, I can have a look. Uh, they want 41, so you may, you're probably looking at about 20 million for him at least. So maybe not so good on the cost front but you know that you're paying for one of the keepers that will be a leader for the keepers in the next 10 years. So if you're looking for a long-term save, maybe with a big club, then definitely keep tabs on him and think about buying him to be your next number one in the next few years. Next up, you've got Paul Nardi. Uh, I think he's actually on loan, yeah, from Monaco here. Um, French, 22 years old, so he's, he's a bit older than a lot of the people on this list. Again, probably going to be quite expensive, but the stats speak for themselves. I mean, 14 reflexes, 13 one-on-ones, 14 handling. They're all very, very good stats for a goalkeeper of his age. Don't forget, these, these stats will drastically improve over time as long as you've got some good goalkeeping coaches. Uh, you've got three-and-a-half star uh, ability rating, potential ability, but his current ability is already three. So, I mean, if you're looking for, again... Uh, championship sides or even a backup for the Premier League he's probably going to be a really good option for you his wages aren't that much at all um, he is on loan obviously so you will have to wait at least till January to pick him up but again another good signing I uh, just wanted to add a bit of English into this one uh, give you an option Jordan Pickford uh, probably the best English goalkeeper in the Premier League uh, in terms of like under kind of 25 years old kicking is very good at 17, uh, but it depends. If you're playing a kind of long ball style of football where the keeper, you're not playing out of the fence, you're looking to clear the ball to the flanks, it'd be very good for that kind of system. One-on-ones, reflexes and aerial reach, all kind of like very good for his age, to be honest. He's only 22, so you could probably get the best out of him, especially with 14 determination. His stats are definitely going to increase by a good margin. Um his potential ability is three stars. Current ability is two. So again, um, for any championship side, probably wouldn't be able to afford him with his price tag, but you're probably looking at more of a backup option with this one. But I think he would be a very good signing uh, if you are, again, like a top four club, which I know a lot of you will be as you're starting out on FM17. Um, wages, again, very cheap. I'm trying to keep this uh, the wages especially as cheap as possible in this series, so uh, they're affordable. You know, obviously, if the wages are cheaper, you can afford to spend more on the uh, signing on fee and the transfer fee itself. So, Jordan Pickford there, another very good option. Edison, now, uh, this is a Brazilian keeper. He plays for Benfica at the start of the game. Uh, value is seven point five million. So you are looking. This is only a signing you'll be able to make if. You are one of those top clubs to start with. But he can get up to five-star um, potential abilities and already three. So this is more likely he would be your starting keeper if you are going to try and sign him. Uh, again, we'll go and make an offer, see what they say. 59 million. So again, this, is, this will be a big chunk of your budget if you want to sign him. It'll be that 30-odd million. Um, but if you look at the... St he's, he is kind of worth it in these stats. He's got 15 reflexes, 20 kicking, 15 command of area, 15 decisions, good rushing out. And these mentals are really developed, even at 22. So he's only going to get better. 
Um, I would recommend this guy. Oh, I've had him for my Manchester United save already uh, as a backup to David De Gea, but he does play a lot of games in the Champions League and the Cup, etc. Um, and he is pushing De Gea for his spot. So in this year's FM, if you're looking to splash the cash on a young keeper, then Edison from Benfica is definitely your man. Going on to the final keeper, the most expensive one, uh, you've got Sergio Rico. He play, currently plays Sevilla, Spanish keeper. Again, another, he would cost you 26 million again. So this is probably, if you're just starting, you're looking for a new first team keeper. Uh, but again, the money you spend reflects the attributes and how they'll perform on the pitch. The reflex, 17. Tendencies punch, 18. One on one, 16. Handling, 15. These stats, the, all these mentals totally developed already. They're only going to get better. Uh, good determination. Sorry, no, poor determination, which means that he maybe won't progress as well as some of the others, but his current ability still makes him quite a good option, especially his potential ability is four-star, so he probably will reach that regardless of his determination, just due to the fact that his stats are already very good. Um, but obviously it won't be for everyone because he is quite expensive. Um, right, so that was the first episode. Uh, this was just goalkeepers. I will be doing one for, I won't do every single position, but I will be doing goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders, strikers, etc. Um, so let me know if you have any feedback, how I can make this better. I've tried to include options of all price ranges for you, so we're not pricing anyone out, because I know some people do decide to start with a challenge, whilst other people go for a United or a Chelsea or a City. But yeah, definitely let me know any feedback in the comments. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. Peace.